Hey guys, it's Carrie Ann from Everything Mom, and sometimes on the channel we'll share games or activities to do as a family. And one of our areas of interest right now happens to be card games, and they're great as a family activity. But also, solitaire games are perfect if you're looking for something to occupy the kids and all you need is a single deck of cards. So I had recently shared how to play Accordion, one of my current favorite solitaire games. But I recently came across another game that I thought would be perfect for kids called Clock. It's perfect for kids who are learning to tell time. The reason being is the game is based on cards in a clock formation. For this game, you're just gonna need a simple deck of cards. So once you've shuffled your cards, what you're going to do is create 13 piles of four cards each, face up. You should have no cards, that's how you know that everything's been dealt correctly. So once you have your 13 piles, you're going to take 12 of those piles and set them up in a clock formation. Three, six, nine, and then you can just fill in the other gaps and adjust accordingly. All right, so you have sort of a circle. This represents your clock with 12 o'clock being at the top. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then your last pile, your 13th pile, you're going to put in the center of the deck. And now you're ready to play. You're gonna start by picking up the first card in the center pile. Depending on the number that appears on this card, you're going to place it in the clock position. So number cards from ace to 10 represent the number that shows up. A two is two, an ace is a one, an eight is an eight. For the face cards, a jack represents the 11 o'clock position. The queen represents the 12 o'clock position. So I'm going to take the queen and I'm going to put it face down underneath the 12 o'clock position. Now I'm going to take the top card in that 12 o'clock, which in this case is an eight, and I'm going to take the eight and I'm going to put it in the eight o'clock position, which is here, face down and then take the top card there. I'm just going to continue playing all the cards until ideally I've cleared the face. So again, the jack, the jack represents the 11. And you're going to keep doing this, picking up a card, putting it in its correct place on the clock, taking up a new card, putting it in its correct place on the clock. And what you're trying to do is clear the clock completely before you find all the kings in the center. If you find all the kings in the center and you still have cards on your clock face, you don't win. So you're gonna keep going all the way around, moving each pile, each top card to its position in the clock face. And what you're trying to do is clear the clock face before you find all or kings. These are all ways that you can reinforce math skills in a fun way and the great thing with clock is it has the added bonus of reinforcing the number position on a clock perfect for kids learning to tell time. And then even if your kids or adults are very familiar with number positions it still doesn't take away from the fun and just variety in a solitaire game. I found all four kings before I cleared the clock, so therefore I didn't win this round. It's a fun game, it's easy enough for young kids to play, to set up on their own, but it also is a great tool for reinforcing the number positions on a clock. That is a great solitaire game. I'll include the link to Accordion, which is another favorite, but hopefully you'll give this game a try with your kids. Let me know what they think. 
And if you happen to know a great card game, whether it's a family card game or another solitaire game, be sure to leave it in the comments below. We're always looking for great games to share with my, the family as well as with everyone else. As always, you can find me here on Fridays talking about games and activities you can do with the family. But I'm also here talking books for kids, family travel, mom confession, and other just fun family stuff. So. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when the next video is published. And until next time, ciao!